So we're back, workshop Wednesday, back playing with this. And the big question is, will it fit? So, I'm going to start the video off with the big important question. Click that recording. No, it's falling out the what's name. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm hoping you can see what's going on. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I'm not nervous about this. And the fact it's um, not light. So, oh, yeah. She's home for a couple of days. So yeah, I brought her back up here. Also had the top around on the contract yard. Want to get the top, top of home and wanted her home. Obviously, as you know, we've started maze now. Make sure this thing fits, modify if necessary. Make sure the weights fit. And I've also got a couple of little things coming just to um, just, just smarten it up really. Just make it a bit more sort of mine I suppose <sighs> tell you what this is a heavy lump <clears throat> oh. right how many inches have me out <clears throat> she's in she's in she's in she's in she's in <sighs> lean her back Here's just every bit of engineering this thing. I even went and bought a new top link pin for it. Spoiling it. Right. Hang on. We'll show we'll show it you better when it's actually where it should be. Right, so it all fits. Kinda. I'm a little bit two ways on this. It's it's nice to be able to have um set of weights that will easily fit, fit on the front of the Massey on a linkage. Um it's been certainly considerably the cheapest way round to do it because I already had the weights, which you know, um I mean they work on the theory of a pound per kilo, but the likes of these weights are actually a little bit dearer than that because they're they're kind of in demand but it does mean which i'm really not keen on it looks even worse you sat there in the corner in the doom and gloom missing a nose but it, it it's trying to be practical it's trying to be practical and run on as we can um end of the day this theoretically that this carrier will last me um hopefully i can find you know on my travels keep buying old weights here and there as i find them and we can end up with a set on here and smurf can have her full deck back or we'll end up having to move a couple of weights over uh, as you can see there is a gap here this will take hang on get the, get the old measuring stick out it should be in here wasn't it? Well, that's. Don't you go run off? I've just bought you. That actually doesn't need to be in there. Okay. Doesn't look like we have uh, a tapey measure in here anymore. That sucks. We did have. I've got loads of balls in there for some reason. Uh, what have we got? We'll have something to measure. We'll have something to measure. On the vert bench. What do we have on the vert bench? Where the crap that we saw that again. There's one after. Right. So we have a gap here of. Measure it, use it the right way. Mm, call that eight and a half centimetres. 
which would take two more weights. So the push that up to, hang on. I, I did the maths, but it, it basically it gets this weight, including the carrier and everything, up to about probably, uh, drop goes from about 700 up to about 850. So we have some other little things just to personalize this. One of it was, these are actually, <laughs> love these lights quite some time. Of course, you can't tell. Uh, so they, I want to mount here. Sort of like that. Uh, I actually have more bits coming electrical wise, um, but you're gonna have to wait. You might not even make it to this video because I don't know whether they're going to arrive in time. The due, well, two of the bits are due between five and eight tonight. And I've got another bit that's not due for a couple of weeks, but I might be able to do the pl preliminary work for it. Just doesn't look like it sits straight somehow. Don't know. Right, anyway, we'll start getting these spotlights mounted. Right, I need to remember to record things as I'm going rather than just getting into the moment and cracking on with it. So we have done the next little job I wanted to do. We have a pair of LED spotlights on there now. Um, not, we've not got any wiring done yet because we're waiting on, so one of the things I'm, I'm waiting on, on being delivered is a junction box. So we can put everything tidily into a junction box here. And I've got hopefully the wiring diagram that's right for that plug. So we should be able to wire in all the varying bits I want to, and it should all work off switches in the cab. That's the plan. Uh, so interesting little fact. Um, these little brackets, you may remember from uh, last workshop weekend, because all right, they look a little. Don't have to hold the camera. They look a bit different, but they were. They did used to look like that, and they used to sit there. So, yeah, talk about uh, oh, recycling. So that goes there in my. Um, oh my god, I need to make a racket pile. But yeah, it's looking. I'm quite happy with that. So, um, you need to drill through here. These are actually stainless steel bolts. So theoretically, they shouldn't rust too badly. Stainless steel still rusts, just not as quickly. So, yeah, I'm kind of getting itchy for, this, for these parts arriving because I can't really do anything until they do. Uh, so these spotlights, these I've not, well... I bought them, but years ago. Um, they've been with me probably as long as I've been on YouTube. Uh, what have they been on? They, they've always ended up on my varying pickups, I think, going back. Now, were they? These could have actually come off my first pickup. Um, so the, I don't even know what make they are. I got them off one of the local dealerships. Um, they're a four LED spotlight. They're bright without being too obnoxious. So, yeah, they should just, obviously, because we've got headlights that will point forward. Um, spotlights that shine out there, roof lights. And these will just cast uh, that extra just bit of light out. So, theoretically. Oh, and I've... <laughs> I don't know whether I've said this. I've got, I've got my hydraulic top link back. Um, we, we had a bit of a mishap with that. Um, as you can see, it, 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 it's had something done here. Basically, the short version is, because um, I always use this on my topper, uh, in a rush to put the topper on, on obviously on the back of the tractor, um, well, I... I don't know how I did it, but I put it in upside down. Uh, 
so that when I lifted the topper up, that came into the contact with the casting and it literally ripped that banjo belt out of that fitting and just, yeah, that fitting was sort of oval shaped. So my very kind hydraulic man um, laughed at me, took pity on me and uh, repaired it for me. So probably shouldn't be peeling this off, but never mind. Just looks a bit, actually looks a bit grossy with it all just like it is. So yes, I do make mistakes. You're all aware I make mistakes because I usually share it with you. So yeah, that was a, a fun little one. So yeah, we're getting there. We, we are in desperate need of these parts coming. Uh, oh, I even treated it to a to a brand spanking new top link pin as well. New link pins, new link balls. Anyone would think I'm trying to make a proper job of this. Right, so bits have arrived. Um, so we've got some little uh, marker lights, which are going to sit how like so. I've had to modify them a little bit, just cut a little V out on the back of them so that when they mount, because obviously they're supposed to mount and the wire is supposed to go through the other side. Well, I can't do that. So a little V in him and uh, that should be sound. Whether you get my filling full of silicon just to seal them up. And then we have here a very smart little junction box. Well, that pulls off, right? Okay. Little, uh, what's the name, glands. So that we can uh, mount this to the back here and seal her up. So we have two screws, which will be for bolting that, screwing that into there and then we've got the four screws to go there that noise is yeah and a half noisy swallow chicks up there they have made an almighty mess sort of there but um i'm not that bothered they've not they've not pooed on everything although i might have to uh back the tractor back a bit tonight and they're uh, they're out the nest and chatting a lot right anyway let's get back on these get these bolted in i would say not quite sure what in terms of got to do with modifications to get them get them all sorted but yeah they need all bolting on um make sure i'll do it the right way all right so uh Yes, I haven't kind of felt a lot because I've been doing a lot of wiring and trying to get my head around it. And But it's done as far as we can do so far. Um, <laughs> found a problem, though. Can't seem to be getting power to my plug, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to show you it all working, but there is a way around it. And... Uh, yeah, basically this little rig. Just give us a second, I'll uh, plug it in and we'll see what it does. Oop, I was on the phone the wrong way. Right, so this is what we've uh, ended up with. Uh, which I think looks quite smart. We've got Two fog lights, marker lights, We've even got the side markers and the rear markers. Oh, just for full effect because yeah, yeah, I've, I've been at this a while. I've also got my side lights on as well. I had not realised that. them off so yeah that's just all <laughs> you 
<laughs> you know what? You can call me daft, but if you get the right angle, it looks like the front of the Smurf. I think that looks quite smart. I do think that looks quite smart. So, that's it for this one. Just need to figure out why I've got no lights, why the plug's not working on the tractor. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my front weight block already for maize. So, don't forget to give it a grubby thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. We have the shop if you'd like any merchandise. If you haven't already subscribed, why not? Go hit the bell, cost, uh, go hit the subscribe button, cost nothing. Don't forget to ring the little bell. That way you'll get notifications when the videos are on. Um, if you'd like to say hello, you know where the description, where the comment section is by now. At least hope you do. So, uh, see how it looks from the cap. <sighs> Oh yeah, who needs headlights? So that is it, stay safe, stay well, don't forget to look after yourselves, don't forget to look after each other, and uh, well, we'll probably see you for a bit more maze. Just try it without the, All right, which is the right red one to pull? Nope, that was the one I didn't want to pull. Pull that one in, pull that one out. There we are, so we're just on the... Uh... Hey. Hang on, pull that so we've got a bit of light so we can see. Yeah, that's so just with the little side lights on. Spot on. See you on the next one.